Okay, so returning back to Elden Ring. The Elden Ring. Uh, we were exploring, you know, Altis Plateau. You know, we kind of started on the on the left side over here. We made our way to the right, you know, explored over here some more. And um, let's see. Oh, I don't need that marker right now. Put that away. Uh, yeah, but the plan is to actually go over here, actually. Go here first. We'll see that what that cave is and then check out this thing which is the second invasion of the volcano manor uh thingy i guess let's check out this you know this looks like a poison lake that's what it looks like to me but i guess we'll see is it gonna be like another lake of rot hopefully not i mean if it's poison and not rot maybe it's better also i wonder if we can use a horse though i wonder if miyazaki allows us to do that in the first place i don't know and that, that, that was the problem with the Lake of Rot, you know, was the fact that you couldn't use our horse. Because normally if there was like a, you know, poison area, if you're on your horse, it doesn't matter, right? Just like the swamp in, um, in Caelid, actually. Which seemed like a big deal, but actually it wasn't, you know? You just kind of be on your horse most of the time. Except that one, you know, the only exception was when you get invaded by, uh, Millicent, I guess. Which I still don't know why she invades us there. She had like both arms as well, so I don't know what that represents. It could just be non-canon invasion, or maybe there's a lore reason for that. I don't know. Maybe it's just her spirit, I guess, because she was technically the the goddess of rot or something. You know, she represents the rot in that area. She was obliged to like keep out any um, you know, trespassers. And what's this? This guy. Yeah, he looks like the guy from Lernia, actually, the Lake of Lernia. Yeah, same guy, I think. But he's dead now. All right. Also a troll. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good for you. Oh, and like uh, this cave actually needs a stone sword key. I think it needs two, actually. What should I have? You know, just double check real quick as the troll is about to kill me. I got 16. I got plenty. All right, let's use some. I don't know. I just never use anything that is limited. I hate using. I mean, lake in, the Lake of Rot in particular, for example. I don't, I don't like using things that go away eventually, you know? I could get more, I guess, but I, I never like to be in a situation where I have to, you know, I have to, like, grind for more, or, like, I use it all up, and I have to come back, you know, things like that. That's why I never use my smearing stones, which I probably should. I mean, hopefully this cave will actually give us more smearing stones, actually. Who knows? Alright. A new fancy new armor, by the way. We will continue on in this cave. Do -do -do. Oh, it's a little dark, actually. Put on a lantern. All right, let's go. Do -do -do. Ooh, get out of here. You know, I do want to change my weapon eventually, but again, I don't want to use the smithing stone, so I don't know. I don't know what kind of weapon I would like to use for this character. I was thinking again, power stance, heavy thrusting swords. Which I don't is it even called power stance in this game? I know it's called power stance in Dark Souls 2. It was even more like there's uh, it was an even more um in-depth system actually in Dark Souls 2. You could actually use weapons from different weapon classes, actually. You know, you didn't have to use, for example, two straight swords. I believe you could use like a straight sword and a curved sword, you know, as, lo as long as they have the same type of like, I guess, like similar enough moveset like, and similar enough size, then you, you can mix and match in Dark Souls 2. In this game though, in Elden Ring, you, it has to be the exact same weapon class, so it limits it a little bit. But much simpler, simpler actually. I believe in Dark Souls 2, uh, you need like stats for it. You know, I, I can't remember the exact amount, but like 2.5 or something, 2.5 times the original requirements or, or is that strength i don't know anyway or is it 1.5 i'm not sure but you need more than usual over the requirements in order to power stance the weapon i feel like dark souls 2 was definitely the most different of the games I'm trying to think, Dark Souls, yeah, Dark Souls 3, I mean, Elden Ring really feels like Dark Souls 3, um, at least the engine anyway, you know, feels a lot like Dark Souls 3, so, 
kind of based on that. Dark Souls 2 is a, a lot different, actually. I remember you know, back steps, you know, had like invisibility frames. And PvP was about like running in circles, you know, the whole time. That's what you would do. For some reason, I don't know. It's just what people did. I guess because, you know, spacing is more important in Dark Souls 2. Ow. I just get, I die to dogs, oh, of course. I'm not going to die to dogs, but... Getting hit by dogs a whole bunch is a theme in this game. <laughs> that uh, In every Souls game, really. Try crouching. Oh, it actually works. But there's no reason to, it's just... Oh, no, actually there is. Oh, it's just summer space. Okay. What? That's weird. You can, like, walk out without crouching, but you gotta crouch to get in. I mean, I will rate that good, actually. Good. Another mining cave. Again. Catacombs. Mining caves. Normal caves. A lot, a lot of copy and paste. I got like, at least on this site, uh, say file, I almost got like 90 hours in this game. I think it's because I spent so long doing side dungeons. But I gotta, you know, to get the materials and whatnot. Anyway, uh, so wait, which way do I go? I'm not sure now. I'm getting uh, turned around. So that leads to a dead end, I think. I went here already. So did I go down yet? I can't remember if I went down already. Or did I come from down? I don't think so. Yeah, there's enemies here. So yeah, I, I didn't go down yet. Do we have a ladder? Ah, I guess because there's like fire. Uh-oh. Two knights. Uh-oh. Inside here is not great. Night enemies are tougher than normal enemies, as it turns out. We can wake up? Ah, oh, damn it. Might have woke up. Wee. Ow. Not dogs! Okay, I might actually die here. I wasn't planning on it, but... I wasn't planning the whole dying thing. Oh, I'm stuck in this place again. The shield bash. Not determination. over here. Hopefully this is safe. I'm trying to maybe parry. I don't know. Okay. That's a bad parry. Can't parry a shield bash though. Come on. Blue. Killed. There you go. Got my yeah, my thing on. Got my post assassin's talisman on. All right. Now we can actually explore normally. Hmm. Uh, it's over here. Beware of ambush. Maybe? I see one guy. Well, there's two. Dog, actually. There are a lot of explosive barrels here. You shouldn't like, use fire, you're gonna blow yourself up. I guess these guys don't care. Alright, so maybe it's on tier 5. Do I need tier 5? Let me double check. Tier 5. Five. This tier 5 goes to plus 15, and my weapon is, no, is already plus 15. I don't really need tier 5, I need tier 6 actually. I want to go back, grab my greatsword, but again, I don't know if I want to stick with this greatsword. I don't want to change things up, but I'm not sure what weapon to change to. 
Especially if I need to upgrade a weapon from like base upgrade level. I'm gonna need a lot more spinning stones from other tiers as well, you know? That's why I don't want to spend my spinning stones. Even if I get, you know, newer ones, I just never want to spend them. Troll's hammer. Alright, I assume that is a big colossal hammer. It is a mining tool of stone digger trolls used to crack bedrock. Trolls are descended from giants, and these were supposedly once used as ceremonial smithing tools. In the distant past, smithing was considered divine. It was a divine pastime. It requires 10 faith, though. That, that's why, I guess. Of course, even like a big, just, you know, rock on a stick. I guess it's like, you know, it's, it's a fancy rock. You know, just a little bit of, like, carving on it. But, you know, es essentially a big... Ow. Oh, that can happen? Uh, does that do the fire damage or something? It does fire damage, I didn't even notice. Yeah, that's what happens if you, like, obviously... Use a fire weapon on explosive arrows. Good thing it didn't kill me. Rawr! Ah! Okay. No, not using that. I was gonna say, though, a big, like, rock on a stick somehow requires you to be, like, slightly religious. Just a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit. You gotta say, like, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta say your blessings during, like, dinner or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Oh, I see an item there, actually. Uh, that. Alright, so which way do I go? The ladder goes back up, right? I assume so. It just goes back up to where it was. I'm gonna check anyway, just to make sure. Do, 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 do. Jump down there. And yeah, this might be part of maybe the proper way you're supposed to go down. Or like, normal people. <laughs> Um, I think I explored... Did I? I can't remember now. I explored that way. Went out that way. Yeah, I went up there already. Yeah, yeah, I think I did. Anyway, go back down. So two ways to go from here. I think. Right? I think so. so that way or that way? Um, group ahead. No, but I think I already went this way, right? Yeah, I already went this way. There was a dog and a miner. Right. I, I get mixed up. The, the caves, they all look the same to me. Yeah. They all look the same to me. It's all just rocks. But I guess this way isn't where I've been yet. Oh, it's just a boss, I assume. Is it just a boss already? That was quick. Uh, yeah, it's... All right. And real quick. Let's go. Only buff I need. Stone Digger Troll. Alright. Now he's using that hammer, right? The same hammer that we picked up, I assume does fire damage, so we gotta like break these barrels beforehand. I don't want them to explode on me. Now Stone Digger Troll though, I think we already seen this guy before in a different game. I assume basically the same. Maybe like a follow-up or something. Charge attack followed by a jump attack. Do a bit of this. Yeah, th th this boss seems very easy. And also a little, maybe I'm a little bit too strong for the cave, I guess. Ow. Seems like maybe in like the starting area of Altus Plateau, you're supposed to be like a lower level. Low weapon level as well, maybe. I don't know. And yeah, having fun? I'm just gonna kill you now. Alright. That was easy. I got a great club! Welcome to the Great Club Club. Enormous club of hardwood. Brute force. Yeah, I assume it. Yeah, I mean, just like the other Souls games. The Great Club, the Large Club, and the Great Club. They all just are just big sticks that scale only with strength. Golden Land. Oh, yeah, I think I got an Ash of War, maybe? I can't remember now. Yeah, it's just. Big stick. Boonga boonga big stick. And also, I assume this is the butt slam. 
Oh no, it's different actually. Oh, that was something else. Oh, never mind. Oh, there's that. Okay. Oh, it's kind of it reminds me of the, the the tree avatars actually. Okay. I thought the golden land was something else. I thought that was like the butt slam, you know. Uh, okay, yeah, there's golden darts and stuff. You do a follow up as well. What's that? How you do a follow up? Like that, I guess. All right. Looks different though. Has like um. I guess branches and leaves on it, you know? It's just straight from the tree, <laughs> like a, an actual like earth tree, I guess. It's just a big branch. A little bit different from the other great clubs in the other games. The other great clubs in the other games are just, you know, there's no branches, it's just a big stick. I guess that's it. I was expecting more actually. You know, this whole mountain area, it looks like a mountain. I guess there's a bit more maybe, but I guess not. Uh. Hmm. I don't know. I guess that's it. Unless I missed something. I don't know if I did. Usually there's only like one boss in like a mini dungeon. The only exception was that secret boss actually with the Black Knife Assassin. I don't know if it's anything like that. It seemed to be expensive. You know, I used two stone sword keys for that and that's all I, uh, that's all I got. Doesn't seem to amount to much. Um... I do want to heal up though. I actually want to go back down. Can I like drop down this way? I wonder. This game is like death. Usually uh, in, in these uh, caves, there's always like an extra little drop and go here, but not in here. I yeah, like a shortcut. You know, I've noticed, you know, there's always like something like this. Every time in the first elevator, even every elevator, in, like a mining cave in this game. Sometimes it lead to an item, but I guess this time not. It's just a shortcut, right? Or yeah, <laughs> we just heal up. You know, I don't like the fact that when when you teleport uh, to the entrance, um, like a boss fight in these little mini dungeons, they don't they don't heal you up, you know. You're still, you're still in a you still used up all your like items and stuff. Anyway, I guess that's it. Old Al Altus Tunnel. Not much actually. It seems, except the smithing stones. I guess the smithing stones are useful. Let's see. Did I explore over here yet? I don't know. I can't remember. River. Oh yeah, because the over here would be like um. I remember when I got teleported, right? That one time. I explored a little bit, but I didn't explore the rest of the area. So I don't remember doing do that next, maybe. Start over here. Yeah, I gotta go back there. I remember was it these catacombs? Or was it Oh, I remember yeah, I put I remember putting a mark that acquired a stone sword key. So maybe it was this, actually. But I gotta remember to go back there eventually. Anyway. Put a mark. Walking man to walk there eventually. Next thing on the list, though, is let's actually check out this thing. I assume it's just on the road. I'm gonna evade uh, again and murder someone again just because. Because uh, we're a recusant, actually. Or a recusant? Recusant? You know, I looked it up actually. Recusant means, um, a recusant. I can't, pronou I can't pronounce it. I don't know how to say it. It means someone who uh, defies authority, you know, like a rebel. Rebel scum. I can go up there, but I don't know if I want to. I actually want to stay down, if possible. A lot of blood stains. <laughs> I assume from fighting this sub, this invasion thing right here. What happened to this guy? Anything special? Or just die to the NPC. Stand there and you're like, you try to parry and then, you, and then you're dead, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try the parry too. If it's possible. Alright. Simulated invasion time against Relay the Idol. Alright. I noticed that weapon actually. It's a scorpion dagger and I think they're using rot arrows. They can rot you, I imagine. That sucks. I don't have a lot of those healing items from rot at the moment. I don't want to parry, but can't. <laughs> okay, no 
normal parry. It's kind of hard to parry like a super fast weapon, but... Nope. It doesn't seem that tough, actually. Some people... I guess people die because they were expecting the rot. I want to parry though. It'd be funny. Come on, it'd be it's like a joke. Yeah, there you go. It's a funny joke to parry you, I guess. I don't know. That was easy. And I, I noticed they were using Confessor armor as well. Um, the Confessor, I remember, the starting class. I think the lore behind the Confessor starting class is they're they're like a kind of like a faith assassin. You know, they have some they have some uh, faith spells and they have some you know stats and like you know i think just fighting in general i guess strength and dexterity or something like that they're kind of like a paladin kind of thing but the lore is that the they're like assassins you know so it makes sense that that person was using like uh poison and stuff i got like an interesting item though what was that he had a maybe a vial of some sort Not a key item. Uh, I got black key bolts, which is uh, this thing. I got this before. Scarlet rot bolts. That's what they were using. Uh, was well, it like a talisman, maybe? Some sort of vial. Here we go. Uh, Limited all sound made by the viewer. Or aware. Oh. Small mysterious bottle of the dark mist sealed within. Limits all sound. A ritual implement used by round table hold assassins. There was a time when Tarnish, who had strayed from guidance, feared nothing more than utter silence. Mm. So again, there are multiple tarnished in this world. Hey, you know. Assigned with the duty of like you know, uh, I assume collecting the pieces of the shattered ring, but not everyone is as successful as me, the main character, obviously. <sighs> but I guess there was also like round table hold assassins. I wonder what that means. I guess maybe anyone who tries to, you know, go against the the, the round table hold, you know, and their main mission, the two fingers and whatnot. It seems like there's multiple two fingers, though, you know? You know how Ronnie, at the end of her quest, she had, like, her own two fingers? So it seems like everyone has their own two fingers, I guess? So it's just, like, in general. Yeah, that eliminates our sound. Which, uh, yeah, it's a thing in the other Souls games. I guess it's useful... It's situationally useful, I guess, for stealth. You know, even to run past enemies and all that, they're less likely to notice you if they don't if they don't see you. So it's useful for that. In PvP, though, it's I guess marginally useful. It's most likely it doesn't really matter if they hear you coming or not, because they expect you anyway if you're like invading someone or something. But I guess you could do like kind of like a weird stealth thing, you know. Yeah, I imagine this game. I think there's a like a like a talisman that's like the obscuring ring in Dark Souls Three. I believe so. Which basically, I think I mentioned before, you know, kind of makes you invisible at a certain distance. Like, I don't know how useful that is, but I don't know. I remember Dark Souls Three people would use that to snipe people off, you know, like ledges and stuff with like a great bow. That's pretty funny. All right, so okay, here we go. Here's this like little small castle in, in the middle of this area. I mean, poison ahead. I mean, obviously. What's the poison though? Is it just normal poison or is it kind of? It's just normal poison. All right, it's not too bad. It's normal. It's just a little normal poison. I like the the lake of rot. Even still, I can just use my horse. Uh, let's, well, let's see. We'll see. I, I wonder if we go inside, though. We can't use our horse or something. Yeah, actually, I see it. There's a bit of, like, a blue mist there. Yeah, which means you can't use your horse inside. Okay. They do force you to, like, be on foot, I imagine, inside. And, of course, there's basilisks. Oh, there's basilisks. There's something I, I mentioned before, how there's, like, eyes under, like... The, you know, see there's just bigger eyes? There's actually smaller eyes under those eyes. And I said how, like, I didn't see them. But actually, they're there, actually. The closer to the mouth, I mean, it's really hard to tell just from here. And they're moving and all that. I didn't notice. Yeah, actually, they do have, like, smaller eyes. Just like the, the old model. You know, old model, Basilisk, in the other Souls games. Really hard to see, though. 
don't know if you can actually see them come really close. I think you barely see like a little dot, you know, near their teeth. I think that's their actual real eyes. Oh, there you go. Actually, it is. I was right. There are like smaller eyes. I wonder if they were different. I think they were different in Demon Souls, but in Dark Souls, that that was their design, you know. All right. Go around the castle for a little bit. Oh, it's called the the Shaded Castle. I guess is what it's called. All right. Shaded. Isn't it? We'll sneak preview there. What is that? Uh, one of those guys, yeah. One of those riders from the Lake of Lurnia. <clears throat> Anything on the left side? I, I'm obviously I can enter from the wall that I saw before, but see if there's any extra items I can get. Again, poison is not too bad. Poison is like baby scarlet rod you know it just barely does any damage it's just, it's just a slight annoyance it's like real poison which is the scarlet rod that's that's the tough stuff that will kill you really quickly which i don't like <laughs> that's why i hate the lake of rot so so much i know i know i now know because now that i think about it some more off screen actually there was probably an easier way to deal with that place i guess we'll see if we have to use it here because as it turns out you know, I have that spell called Flame Cleanse Me, basically. And you're thinking, well, it's a faith spell, I can't use it. But I also have that ring that increases my faith. It was like I was doing the, you know, quick math, and actually it turns out you can actually just use the Flame Cleanse Me pretty easily. On this build, you know, yeah, almost every build can use it, it seems. Is that maybe the exception of one build? That doesn't have enough faith, like by default. But almost every other build, I believe, or every other class, rather, starting class, you know? Has enough faith to use the flame cleanse me if you put on that faith increasing ring. That's pretty easy to get. Also, I end up here, by the way. So, I mean, here is like a bunch of weird statues. And a random person is just chasing me. Uh, Shaded Castle Castilian. Malay, was it? Malay Maris? Interesting rapier. I kind of did not want to fight them on foot because, yeah, there's just look at this guy right here. Can you stop, please? Can you hit the other person? That'd be great. Oh, poison, alright. Get rid of you. There you go. Repulse, please. Do a little casual repulse. Excuse me. I'm killing your like big golem friend first, you know? Two V one is not fair. <laughs> Alright. Now we fight honorably. As I probably will heal like 500 times, so don't worry about it. There you go. Get wrecked. Gonna heal now? Are we gonna heal now? Now I'm gonna kill you now. Did I heal before? I don't remember. Uh, Antsper Rapier. Maris. I don't pronounce that, but Maris Mask and Maris Robe. Alright. A uh, spur of a giant ant, which has been fashioned into a rapier. The blade drips with scarlet rot. Scarlet rot is an old legend, of which Malay Maris of the Shaded Castle was a private believer. And indeed, he eventually found his own personal goddess. Okay. Interesting. I mean, scarlet rot, yeah, that, okay. Scarlet rot is very powerful, so I imagine this is very, very good for PvP. Um, you know, I remember, actually, like a toxic weapon, only that... I can... Well, I don't remember. There was an, an easy way to, like, give Toxic to you, other players in PvP in the other Souls games, which is basically Scarlet Rot, you know, like, Super Poison. Other than, like, throwing poop. You know, you can, like, throw poop at people. That's one way to give them Super Poison. 
Uh, but mask in the image of a white haired young noble, constantly worn by the head of House Mirrors, increases arcane by like one point, it seems. Uh, the Mirrors family has a dual history spanning generations, serving as both executioners and castilians. Or how you say that? I keep saying Castilian. That's not right. Cast Castellans? Castellans of the Shaded Castle. I assume like, you know, uh, uh, what do you call them actually? I mean, Castellans, I guess, but you know, people who manage the castle, I guess. Uh, the mask bears likeness of the first of their line. And the robe, I guess? The robe any different? Da -da -da -da. The sons of House Maris are all sickly born. Little wonder that Malay Maris would be so beguiled by the beautiful and fierce goddess who is born into rot. Hmm. Reminds me of Millicent. Okay. Is that why their castle is like full of poison? They're like, wow, this rot stuff is so cool. You know, let's try diet rot, which is like normal poison. It's great. Maybe. I don't know. Raise a tree. What tree? I don't see a tree anywhere. Weird. Hmm. Golden skies, by the way. Is that always a thing? Just golden clouds? I guess because we're in Altus Plateau, we're very close to the earth tree, and, you know, gold seems to be a theme in this game. Oh, old friend. Don't give up. This is another, like, jump off the cliff. You know, related message. Like, just telling me not to jump off. No, uh, anyway. Turn back, and nothing here again. Jumping. Well, that guy's just telling you to jump. Alright, a lot of statues here. wonder why. It's a, it's a strange sight. You see all these statues here. It makes me think of petrification, but I don't know if petrification is a thing. In this game. I know in the Souls games, you know, you can actually be turned into stone. It's a, it's a real mechanic. It's a classic, you know, uh, RPG mechanic to be turned into stone and all that. But I don't know if it's the case here. But these, these statues are, uh, they're like, they seem to be just carved. You know, they're not, they're not people. I don't know what, what, what this guy was doing, just hanging around a bunch of statues. Hmm. Or maybe they were people, I don't know. I'm not sure, anyway. Let's move on. Well, that was that guy. He used to hang out with his golem friend with his, like, poison rapier. Uh, I'll go this way, too. Interesting. You can, like, jump this way? Yeah, I can jump like that, but I don't know if it matters. Alright. Oh, of course, I just get grabbed right away from a zombie. Poison zombie this time. I know in the Raya Lucaria Academy, they're, like, magic zombies. These are just stinky poison zombies. I mean, Kaelid as well, I guess. They're also zombies. They're just normal zombies, really. Mm -hmm. Just looking around. I imagine the weapon. I imagine this place is like not very good for the weapon itself. I was thinking about that rapier. But otherwise, though, I imagine rot, rot and bleed seems to be just very powerful, you know, in this game. For PvE and PvP, there might be some exceptions if some enemies can't, you know, be poisoned or they can't be bled because they don't have they don't have blood or something. But otherwise, for most bosses in this game, like it, it makes it a breeze. It seems. At least that's what I've noticed uh, when I have my, uh, again, I mentioned like I had a bleed character. I he leveled up arcane and all that. Also tried the dragon spells on the other character actually. And they seem pretty powerful, especially like the rock dragon breath. You just use it on the boss and then easy, <laughs> you know, you just wait and then they're dead. Uh, and also bleed. Bleed just like, it's just very powerful. Because, I don't know, in other games, bleed wasn't as powerful, I feel like. But in this game, it just, because you can scale, I guess, it just goes up really quickly. You know? 
so you, you can like bleed an enemy like multiple times and when you bleed someone you know they lose a, a percentage of their health it's very good if you don't do a lot of damage you'll you know always do a bunch of burst damage it's basically you just need to bleed like a like an enemy like a few times well, not a few times but you know a certain amount of times and they're dead no matter what you know no matter how much damage you do if you just bleed them a certain amount of times, they'll always die. So that's why it's so powerful. I imagine it's very good for speedrunning. Anyway, that's one of those guys. You know, I saw the, that guy before. Uh, like in Albanuric uh, Village or whatever. I guess... Well, I'm guessing they're... Are they perfumers, maybe? Because I was mentioning before, perfumers are like, you know, warriors. Or stuff like that. And they throw stuff at you and stuff like that. So I guess that was a perfumer. They don't seem all that tough. They just, you know, they just throw like some stinky gas at you. Or at least, I guess perfume isn't meant to be stinky, but you know. It just assaults your nose and then you take damage and that's it. Uh, that's all they do. I use a horse here. Hmm. Yeah, not too bad though. It's just like normal poison. It's like whatever. Hello? Actually, I don't know. This guy isn't attacking, actually, so... Hmm. Should I just leave him alone? Or No, okay, now he's attacking. All right. I was thinking he's like an NPC, or... Oh, he has a bell. Never mind. Kill you now. Goodbye. Self-defense. Don't worry about it. Uh... Any items around here? Somewhere that way. I don't know if I want to go that way or go up the ladder. Let's keep going. A lot of souls. Have I level not enough for a level up actually? Oh I do. Oops. <laughs> I should have leveled up. Maybe after killing that stone digger troll. I got ahead of myself. I didn't bother. Mm -hmm. You. Now these guys have four arms. Where is this? Oh, this up here. I can't tell now. Yeah, they look like they have four arms. I wonder if they're related to Ronnie, you know, or something. Ronnie was like a like her body was a doll, but like she was based on the Snow Witch. So I wonder if the Snow Witch. I don't know, I don't know how it's all related, but I wonder if the Snow Witch looked like that, right? She also had like four arms and she was blue and all that. I wonder if she was an Albanuric. Then Albanuric seemed to. Well. They look different than Albanurics. Not sure. I don't know if all. I remember the Albanurics we fought before just simply. I don't know. They look gangly, but they didn't have like four arms or anything. Also, I'm poisoned. Well, that's too bad. You can show off the thing I wanted to do, actually. So here's an easy thing to do. If you want to get rid of your poison really easily, just put. Oh, yeah, I can't do it right now. Oops. <laughs> I gotta go to a bonfire first. Oh, uh, well, whatever. I was gonna do like a YouTube tips and trick video. Which I actually I, I might want to do. I don't know. A lot of beginners in Elden Ring. I'm, I watched like a few uh, streamers here and there. You know, without spoiling myself, I only watched like the first part of their streams. You know, up to the part where I've already beaten. And it seems like a lot of people just new to Elden Ring. They don't, they don't know a lot of the things that are just very like basic, you know, in other Souls games. So I wonder if like there's any like value of me just making like a short like tips and tricks videos or something on youtube i don't know i don't know if that would garner any attention oh here you go here's grace but i'm tempted to you know because i always see other streamers or whatever and other youtubers play the game and they're like uh, they, they don't know how to read item description they also don't know that if you mash the buttons where you get grabbed you can like you know, get all the animation faster, you know? I want to, like, backseat them, but I can't. I kind of want to make a, make a video. There's probably a video like that already, but, you know, I don't know. Again, I don't know if it adds any value. I do it, but maybe. If I just make, like, very specific, uh, you know, because I've seen there's, like, you know, 25 tips on Elden Ring or whatever, but it's very vague, right? What if I just make a video, like, specifically for one thing, you know? Would people want to, I mean, especially if you're new to Elden Ring, you know, if you want to look at that, I don't know. Because obviously when I do playthroughs, playthroughs are very long and, you know, they don't get as many, like, as much attention because it's a big commitment. 
I understand, so that's why on YouTube I don't expect a lot of people to watch them. But maybe if I make something more accessible, you know, just like very short videos that just briefly touch upon very small topics. I mean, that seems to be like the, the meta, it seems, on YouTube. I don't know if I have the time to do so, but maybe. Uh, actually, I want to go back. Yeah, I want to do. Oh, yeah, I mentioned before the, the whole YouTube thing. So I want to do the YouTube thing. Tips and tricks. You can put on flame cleanse me, which is pretty easy to get. I think it's just in the Lake of Lernia. And whenever you need to do so, you just need to replace it with two fingers heirloom, which is again I think you get in Lake of Lernia as well. I can't remember. I remember getting it pretty easily. And then you put on the catalyst. Which is here somewhere. I don't want to change the. Now change the sorting order. I always press the wrong button. The item type. Put on like this thing. This is the very basic seal. And yeah, you can use it. Flame cleanse me. Allows you to heal up your poison and your rot. It's very like, it costs like low FP. It's very easy to get, and it's like, basically, well, not infinite, but. Is reusable, I guess. So you don't have to use your consumables. You don't have to use your like preserving boluses, which is limited. So if I knew this, and I mean something I figured out, really. I imagine a lot of people figure it out on their own, but I figured out my own as well. I was like, oh, I was thinking about it. Like, is there any other way to like get rid of that rot pretty easily without using my consumables? I didn't re realize that until I finished the area, but that's one way to do it. But I imagine it'd be useful in this area too. Oh yeah, I use my level up. There you go. I put that on just in case I need it. I don't need it right now though, so that's the beauty of it. You don't if you don't need it right now, you just put that on. You know? Unless you need to use it in the in the middle of battle, I guess. But I'm thinking like if I get poisoned in the lake or whatever. Or in the swamp area, then I can use it whenever. If I need to. Uh, anyway, I want to go back down because there was that ladder that I saw before, right? Oh, these things are homing very aggressively. But yeah, before I continue from that grace, I wanted to go up here. I wanted to see if there was anything here. Man, there's an item there. I might as well get it. It's just blood. This is blood. There's plenty of blood everywhere. Why you gotta pick it up? Oh, that's bigger. That's kind of like a grafted scion, maybe. Teleports. Did I fight this guy before? I don't remember. I don't think so. Right. Oh, I thought I pressed the heal button. The heal button didn't work. Just like rolling, rolling, rolling. Good. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay. Heal up. All right. Good. Teleport. There's a guy over there too, barfing at me. He's a zombie. Okay, well. Screw you. Man. Stop it. Okay, this fight wasn't very good. Didn't do very well in this fight, but... I was uh, taking damage for some reason. You get damaged by that zombie, maybe? Ah, oh, you're zombies. You're not even like real enemies, they're just like in the background. I'm just backstabbing just because. Alright, what did I come here for? It was somewhere an item, actually, I think. Maybe? Oh, did I already grab? Oh, maybe I already grabbed the item. I actually don't remember what the item even was, <laughs> to be honest. I was too distracted by that weird, like, mini boss. Actually, it probably wasn't even the mini boss. It was just like a elite enemy, I guess. Had multiple arms, even more arms than the regular guys. So I was thinking it was like a graft kind of person, I guess. You know, like Godric. But uh, more, more, I don't know, bestial. Anyway, oh yeah, I want to do the trick, do the super trick. Here you go. Here's a super trick. As wait, no, hold on. I can't do super. I gotta kill this guy first. The pain in the butt. 
All right. It never matters. My poison is almost all right. Th that's why the poison doesn't really matter too much anyway. It's more useful in the Lake of Rot. But just to demonstrate. You do this and do this and then... Boop, poison's gone, you know? Not that that matters. I already went through the most of my character's system anyway. Yeah. Obviously, you can also have it prepared when you need it. Or, you know, in the middle of battle, but I just... I just swap to it. It's just like, whatever. Poison doesn't matter too much, so... You just swap it whenever you need to use it. When you have a moment of respite, I guess. Let's see. Anything this way? Well, it's a zombie. If you want to backstab this zombie for... Come on. There you go. You gotta wait a little bit for the animation to, like, go back to default. I just want to, uh, you know, backstab for the health. Backstab for you too, just top off, maybe? There we go. Ah yes, free health. Wasn't there like a way to drop? Because I saw an item before where it was on a branch or something. I had to drop down to like, get it, you know? remember where it was exactly. I mean, there's that, but that's... I don't think that's it. This guy just like, Ooh. Hey, what that item? Alright, I'll just leave you to it. Oh, more zombies. Okay, whatever, I'm just leaving. <laughs> hmm. I'm around these roofs, so long you want to. More zombies, more very stinky zombies. Oh, of course. I read the message, I was like, what do you mean? No, oh, that's a zombie. Flash shard. Flash shard, I think, is use literally useless. Oh, that guy. Ah, uh, well, in that case, there's an actual real enemy there. I gotta get rid of these zombies before they attack me from behind. Oh, never mind. He woke up! Can't wake up. Can't do that. Alright, there we go. Uh, one of you guys. Okay, that didn't work. There you go. I don't need a two hand, but I did anyway. Out of instinct. And hopefully you're dead. No, nope, you're not dead yet, actually. Now you're dead. Oh, you're not dead yet, actually. Uh oh. Uh, thrusting attack. Now you're dead. Alright. I mean, what's, what's, uh, what's this knight doing all the way out here? I guess it's the poison thing, yeah. You know, the rotting goddess and all that, and they're like... You, know, you find these guys nearing the swamp area of the rot, maybe? So that's why they're... Uh, Valkyrie's prosthesis. Okay. Hmm. I assume it's a key item. Usually I just check out key item. It's like a really unique item that makes no sense. I always look at the key item. Uh, golden prosthesis once used by the one-armed Valkyrie. A masterwork of craftsmanship. With practice and skill it can be used as proficiently as a real arm. When Malay Maris, Lord of Shaded Castle, I killed that guy. Embraced his prosthesis, he claimed to feel the presence of his personal goddess. Hmm. Alright. Now, prosthesis... Well, I guess we'll see. Because now I'm reminded of the movie trailer. Or not the movie. Movie trailer? No. Story trailer of the game. Now the ring's not a movie. It's a video game. But there, there's a story trailer. And one of the people in that trailer did have a prosthesis. So maybe he's referring to that. I guess we'll see. Do not grab me. I'm just looking around, you know, see if like, do I need to drop anywhere, I wonder? Get an item? Anyway, I guess that's that. It's just to get that item, I assume. Nowhere else to go from here. As far as I know. I'll just drop down here just because. I don't know. Otherwise, well, I don't know 
How is that thing? There's that, but... Oh, there's item here, actually. Stop blazing around. Get back to work. Zombie. Start doing your zombie thing. Skeletons? Actually, it's just more zombies, actually. It's not, it's not skeletons, it's just zombies. Uh, anything up here? Can go inside here for no reason? No. I'm going here, but nothing. Oh. Slow down, help. Uh, ah. Alright. Uh, okay, this is like a new location, actually. Um... Excuse me. Just, just murder you. You know, you're not even that tough. Just go in circles. Reminds me of my video of Ancient Impact. We just gotta like run around circles and then you can dodge everything most everything anyway Ow. uh let's see i was wondering what over here was those more those guys the ladder can i kick down this ladder yep and here's a little shortcut somewhere i don't know where the shortcut be from though Dash, that's cheating. I remember this guy killed a lot of people and a lot of players in the village, actually. For some reason. I guess they can heal, but otherwise... It doesn't seem that tough. Oh, I can drink again! What? You have two healing items? Crazy. Almost every NPC in this game, when if they can heal, they only have one. You know? All right, there you go. That confirms that they're like a perfumer, by the way. The Prave Perfumer Robe. The Emperor itself is a curse upon the Earth Tree. Oh, they hate the Earth Tree. No one likes the Earth Tree. These heresy-inclined perfumers imbibe their own spices to alter body and mind. Their slow descent into self-destruction is what earned them their name. I guess people who like spicy food, that's what these are. You know, they're crazy. These crazy people who like eat spicy food why would you eat anything that causes you pain that makes no sense <laughs> anyway um and that's yeah i remember there's that guy he's like oh my item my i, I got it. all right guys mine now there is another perfumer bottle which i already have right it allows you to craft it's like those cracked pots and ritual pots allows you to make perfume items all right Hmm, I'm over here. I don't know what that area beyond the grace... Oh, I guess we'll see. We'll, we'll return to that grace spot maybe later. But over here is also another way to go. What's over here? More of those guys. These guys are just a nuisance, really. I don't know. Like, whatever. Again, so far the poison is not so bad. I'm gonna eat my own words, I guess. But so far, poison is not so bad. It's just whatever. It's just poison. Who cares? Normal poison, not advanced poison. Advanced poison, you gotta worry about. Normal poison, meh, whatever. Uh, okay, oh no, no, okay, all right. This is, yeah, okay, this is the original grace I was at, all right. And yeah, because you can rest here, you know. If it's a new grace, you touch it, but this is a normal grace, all right. So that kind of loops back over here. So it's a nice little shortcut. I want to go back over there, which I should actually, because I think there's another way to go. I wanted to go past over here as well, though. I remember somewhere... Yeah, there's an item. Oh, yeah, I remember. So that's the item that I wanted to get, but I don't know how to get that. I dropped down somehow? It's weird. Anyway. I killed this guy again. I think? Or... He respawned in armor now. Maybe he's dead either way. There's an item there. Oh, another perfumer. All you know how to do, just put sparklies in the air. That's it. Good for you. 
skeleton. No, not ske I keep saying I keep calling them skeletons. I mean, they're very skinny. They're all pretty much skin and bones, but they do at least have a little skin. So they're zombies, not skeletons. Uh, da -da -da -da. All right, nothing here, or nothing else anyway. All right. Behold, you can go down. Wow. Slugs. I see slugs in the wall. Mm -hmm. Glass shard. You know, I thought glass shard was like a crafting item or something. I remember buying it from patches, but when I read the description, I guess I didn't read it on stream, but I read it off screen. It was like, actually, it's just useless. It's literally useless. Also, can I go in there? I don't know if I can. Oh, there's a painting there, actually. Uh, go like this, maybe? Oh, that didn't work. How do I get in there? Go like this? There you go. Yeah, grab these one paintings. Uh, yeah, again, these paintings are like little mini puzzles. If you grab them, then you need to find the perspective and you get an item, I guess, from like a spirit. But I never intentionally find those spots, really. How do I get out? I guess just crouch? Oh, okay, like this. I, I seem like I, didn't, I couldn't go in from this way. Ah, whatever. Anyway. Let's leave. And all right, that's it. We're over here. All right, so the the area beyond the grace was just a side area, I think. Though again, I wonder how you get up there. I can't just how how do you, how do you get on a tree? Maybe how do you get on a tree? Hmm. That's not right. You gotta be careful when you jump on objects and they're breakable. I want to jump on the objects, but you can't, you can't do that if they break. This one doesn't break though. I just want to see if we can do a little parkour, right? Do a little parkour maybe to get up there. Because otherwise, I don't know how you do that. Hmm. Yeah, maybe this tree. It doesn't seem to be the correct way though. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't know. I don't think you make that. Horse? You can't use a horse. You can't just jump from here, can you? I don't think so. Oh, maybe a little bit. A little, little Skyrimming. It's a little Skyrimming. You know, that's, just, that's what the kids call it, right? Skyrimming. Sounds like something else. Um... Hmm. Well, maybe if I drop, yeah, maybe if I drop down from here. Okay, we'll, we'll see. Maybe if I drop from here, like so. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not where the item is. Where's the item? I don't remember where the item was. Nah! I'm gonna get back. No. No, actually, I got it. Oh, it was alright. I thought it was like falling off the wrong way, but actually, that was the correct way to go. Oops. Right again. This item be better be worth it. It's gonna be just another leaf again. Arteria, leaf. You got one leaf. Useless. Alright, you do drop down. Okay, there you go. Eh, stone sword key. Sure. I wonder if you get more stone sword keys than you need. I wonder. Maybe. I don't know if you need to collect every single, like, you know, stone sword key in the game to, like, unlock all the things, but... This is a... I guess it's worth it. I was also just looking at my inventory, because I want to look at that glass shard again. Not material, it's, you know, it's something else. Or is it a material, maybe? Yeah, maybe it is a material. Oh, no, it's not. So you go over here, yeah. Shard of filthy glass. Rubbish. <laughs> it might be mistaken for an object of value when seen from a robot. Cannot produce light by itself. Essentially worthless. Yep. So it's basically rubbish. You know, there's a, there's an item called 
rubbish or trash or whatever in the other Souls games. So I think it's basically that. Literally an item that does nothing. <laughs> Just because. Why not? I mean, uh, the developers would actually troll players, actually. Sometimes they would leave an item out on a path, you know, where you could, like, you know, there's, like, an ambush or whatever. And then you'd be drawn by the item because it was actually just worthless the entire time. There's nothing. Literally nothing. Ow. Get out of here. Smithing stone. Nothing else here. Hidden path. <clears throat> I was going to say hidden path, but it's not. All right, so let's see here. I'm kind of turned around. Um, right here, right there, down the ladder. Yeah, that's the grace. So I believe I think we continue from here. Right? I think so. Because there's a path over there I didn't go. Yeah. I know this as well, yeah. Classic Miyazaki Swamp. Some areas just slow you down. I mean, that's Blight Town for you. Alright. Now, was there like a... God, I can't see that. Is there like an item over there somewhere? I thought I saw something sparkly. Or maybe I was just seeing things. Maybe I was just seeing things. I thought I saw something sparkly. Maybe some message or something. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There. I, I was right. Just this thing. There you go this way? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, here's a grace. Alright, that works. 